everyone it's Naomi Kanaika from encouragement from the Word of God God is faithful he is mighty he is mighty to save and today we are gonna continue learning about the names of God and what a journey it has been it has been a eye-opening journey for us to understand how awesome how powerful how mighty our God is and today as we continue today we are going to learn the name that Jesus was given mighty God this was taken from Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6 it says for us for to us a child is born to us a son is given the government will be on his shoulders and he will be called wonderful counselor mighty God so today we are going to learn what it means that Jesus Christ is mighty. He is a mighty God. As you are aware of his abilities, his miracles, his amazing powers that Jesus showed to you and me and continues to show to us now in, in our life. We can truly say that Jesus Christ is a mighty God. So first we are going to see in romans chapter 1 verse 20 it says since the creation of the world god's invisible qualities his eternal power and divine nature have been clearly seen being understood from what he has made god's power jesus's power was seen from creation from beginning of time as he said to nothing let there be light, let there be heavens, let there be earth, let there be stars, let there be moon, let there be creatures, let there be people. As Adam and Eve, he created in his image. <clears throat> God is a mighty God. <clears throat> he truly is the mighty God. And in uh, Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 it says, In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. God created the heavens and the earth in the beginning. And He is a mighty God. Is there something that in your life you feel that nobody can help? Nobody can do it. Nobody can ever get this done. I am in no strength. I have no one who can help. Or it might be a health condition. Or it might be something impossible to your eyes. But remember that our God, Jesus Christ, is the mighty God and He is able. Nothing is impossible to Him because our God, Jesus Christ, is mighty. He is our mighty God. So as we continue to learn about it, um, we can see in Jeremiah chapter 32 verse 17 it says, As sovereign Lord, you have made the heavens and the earth by your great power and outstretched arm. Nothing is too hard for you. Jeremiah tells it beautifully in chapter 32 verse 17. Nothing is hard for you. You have made everything with your outstretched arm. God, nothing is impossible to you. Jesus Christ, God, there is nothing impossible to you. With your outstretched arm, you have made the heavens and the earth. Who can create the heavens? Who can create the earth? None, no one in this world, but only our God, who is the mighty God. And as we are continue to see that He is a mighty God, He worked miracles from the creation, from the beginning and till the end. And He still continues to work in our life. So God is working for you. Really, God is working for you. God is working on your behalf. God is working for you. He knows you and He is working for you. So we can see that in John chapter 16, verse 33, it says, In this world you will have trouble. In this world you will have trouble. But God says, But be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. God is now working for you. Hosanna, please. Come and say hi. That's my daughter. We are up early. Mama, Mama I got yogurt. Okay, I'm going to feed you soon, okay? All right, say, mm, say bye and be quiet, okay? All right? Bye. <laughs> All right. So God is, the first one is God is working for you. Nothing is impossible to you and God is working for you. Is there something in your life that you feel that you need God's help? He is working for you. He is working for you. He is saying in his word that he is working for you. In Philippians chapter 2 verse 13 it says, It is God who works in you to will and to act according to his good purpose. Isn't it such a beautiful verse of assurance that it is God who is working through you 
to act according to his good purpose. He's always finding ways to make something work for you and make something out of crooked, make it straight. And God is working for you. And the next one is in uh, Exodus chapter 9, verse 15 to 16, we can say, by, by now I could have stretched out my hand and struck you and your people with the plague that would have wiped you off the earth. But I have, I have raised you up for this very purpose, that I might show you my power and that my name might be proclaimed in all the earth. In Exodus, God is talking to the Israel people. He's saying, I can swipe you out from this land. I can swipe you from this world. But I want my name to be exalted in your life. So I am going to work through you. God is so amazing. He, he wants to work through us. Even though sometimes we are stubborn. And even though sometimes we are ungrateful. And we are not thankful to him. He is working for you. And as God is working working uh, for you he is going to work in you he is going to work in you so god says in isaiah chapter 40 verse 29 to 31 god gives strength to the weary and increase the power of the weak even youths grow tired and weary and young men stumble and fall but those who hope in the lord will renew their strength they will soar on wings like eagles they will run and not grow weary they will walk and not be faint. God is working in you. God gives you the strength you need. He's going to renew you and make you like um, eagles so, so that you can soar up above your trials, above your difficulties. He is working for you. And it says in 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9, My grace is sufficient for you. My power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all more the gladly about my weakness, so that Christ's power may rest on me. That is, for Christ's sake, I, I delight in weakness, in insults, in hardships, in persecutions, in difficulties. For when I am weak, I am strong. In 2 Corinthians, God God is saying that He is working through us when we are weak. When we are weak, He is strong. He is using for using the weak vessels like you and me, who are not strong, but He is using our weak vessels for His glory. He is working in you. As God is working for you, He is working in you. He is choosing the weak vessels for His glory. And He is choosing you and me. Nothing is impossible for you because He is the mighty God. His name is called the mighty God. And the next one is God is working through you. God is working for you. God is wor working in you. God is working through you. God is working through you. In Acts chapter 1 verse 8, it says, You will receive the power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witness in Jerusalem, in Judea, in Samaria, and the ends of the earth. God is saying, Holy Spirit will fill you, and He will fill you with power and strength, and He is working through you. Holy Spirit will work through your life, through your abilities, through your weaknesses. He is working through you. In 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 19 to 20, it says, Apostle Paul said, said it this way in the 2 Corinthians. He said, All this is from God who reconciled us to himself through Christ and gave us the ministry of reconciliation, that God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ, not counting men's sins against them, and he has committed to us a message of reconciliation. We are therefore Christ's ambassadors, as though God were making his appeal through us. God is working through us. Can you see it clearly that we are ambassadors for God? We are ambassadors for Jesus Christ. God is a Jesus Christ is a mighty God and he is working through us. In second uh, in First Corinthians chapter two, verse four to five it says, My message and my preaching were not with wise and pursue words, but with the demonstration of the Spirit's power, so that your faith might not rest on me, men's wisdom, but on God's power. He is a mighty God. He is full of power and He is working for you. He is working in you. He is working through you. God is a mighty God and He is working for you. He is wor working in you. He 
he's working through you. He's going to touch many lives through your life because he is using the weak vessels for his glory because he is the mighty God and nothing is impossible to you. I hope you were encouraged today as we learn the names of God. This is a beautiful name because he's called the mighty God. Jesus Christ is called the mighty God. He performed many miracles in earth and he continues to um, make uh, he continues to do mighty miracles through our life daily when you get up in the morning you can see his hand in your life how he's moving how is the mighty god in your life i hope that you were encouraged today if you have never experienced jesus in your life let's pray together father we love you you are the mighty god we thank you that you are working through us you're you're working in us you're working for us thank you lord that you never leave us nor forsake us thank you that you love us with your everlasting love i pray for anyone who haven't experienced your mighty works in their lives your mighty hand in their lives i pray that you'll touch their hearts as they ask you to come into their hearts that you'll be their lord and their savior and work through them in them for them lord for your glory for your honor for your praise in jesus name we pray amen I hope you were encouraged today. I just want to sing to one song called, we are continuing to sing carols. So we'll sing angels we have heard on high. It's a beautiful carol. Let's sing to a mighty God. Amen. Angels we have heard on high, sweetly singing o'er the plains, and the mountains in reply, echo back their joyous strain. Gloria, in excess is day, oh, Lord, Gloria, in excels is day. Shepherds, why this jubilee? Why your joyous strands prolong? What the gladsome tidings be, which inspire your heavenly song. Glory, Gloria, in excelsis Deo, Glory, Gloria, in excels is day oh. to bethlehem and see crime who brought the angels sing come adore on bended knee christ the lord the newborn king Glory, Gloria, in excelsis Deo, Glory, Gloria, in excelsis Deo. See what the manger laid, Jesus, Lord of heaven's earth. Mary, Joseph, lend your aid, with us sing our Savior's birth. Glory, glory, in excels his day, oh, Glory, glory, in excels is day. I hope you were encouraged. May God bless you and always remember He is the mighty God. He is working in you 
He's working for you. He's working through you. He's a mighty God. God bless you. Have a good day. Have a beautiful Sunday.